Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your trainer for this Azure Administrator Associate Certification Examination course. We are on the last lesson of the module 8, which is about Azure Virtual Machines. And this lesson, we're going to talk about Virtual Machine Extensions. Let's have a look at the things what we're going to learn on this video. We will learn about what are Azure Virtual Machine Extensions, how to create and configure the custom script extensions, how do you define the desired state configuration for Azure Virtual Machines, and when I talk about all these concepts, I will take you back and forth between this presentation and the Azure portal so you exactly know what I mean by these. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So what are Azure Virtual Machine extensions? Creating and maintaining virtual machines can be a lot of work and much of it is repetitive, requiring the same steps each time. Fortunately, there are several ways to automate the task of creating, maintaining and removing virtual machines. One way is to use virtual machine extension. Azure Virtual Machine extensions are small applications that provide post-deployment configuration and automation tasks on Azure VMs. Let me quickly show you where you can find these extensions. I'm on my Azure portal. I'm going to click on Virtual Machines. Select an existing virtual machine. Right under Settings, you would be able to find extensions. You can click on Add to add a new extension. For example, if a virtual machine requires software installation, antivirus protection, or configuration script inside, a VM extension can be used. Extensions are all about managing your virtual machines. Azure VM extensions can be managed with Azure CLI, PowerShell, Azure Resource Manager template, and Azure Portal. Azure extensions can be bundled with a new VM deployment or run against any existing systems as well. For example, they can be part of a larger deployment, configuring applications on VM provision or run against any supported extension operating systems post deployment. So these are different extensions for Windows and Linux machines and have a large choice of first and third party extensions. In this video, I will focus on two extensions, custom script extensions and desired state extensions. Both tools are based on PowerShell. Let's talk about the custom script extensions. Custom script extension or CSE can be used to automatically launch and execute virtual machine customization tasks Post configuration. Your script extension may perform very simple tasks such as stopping the virtual machine or installing a software component. However, the script could be more complex and perform a series of tasks. You can install the CSE from the Azure portal by accessing Azure Virtual Machine Extension Blade. So, let me show you how to do that. So, I'm on my Azure portal. I'm going to select an existing virtual machine. Just like we selected before, I'm going under settings, select extensions. You can see that I already have one extensions added. I'm going to add one more extension. This time I'm going to search for Microsoft custom script extension. Select that and click on create. Once the CAC resource is created, you will provide a PowerShell script file. Your script file will include the PowerShell commands you want to execute on the virtual machine. Optionally, you can pass in arguments. Once the file is uploaded, it executes immediately. And the script can be downloaded from Azure Storage or GitHub as well, or provided to the Azure portal at extension runtime. Some of the considerations while performing the custom script extension are timeout, dependencies, failure events, and sensitive data. 
these custom script extensions have 90 minutes to run. If your deployment exceeds this time, it is marked as timeout. Keep this in mind that when you are designing your script, and of course, your virtual machine must be running to perform this task. When it comes to dependencies for CSE, if your extension requires networking or storage access, make sure that content is available. And finally, consider about sensitive data as well. Your extension may need sensitive information such as credentials, storage account names, and storage account access keys. So when you create this script, how will you protect or encrypt this information? So think about that for a minute. Let's learn about the desired state configuration. The desired state configuration, or it is known as DSE, DSC, is a management platform in Windows PowerShell that enables deploying and managing configuration data for software services and managing the environment in which these services run. The DSE provides a set of Windows PowerShell language extensions, Windows PowerShell commandlets, and resources, and that you can use to declaratively specify how you want your software environment to be configured. It also provides a means to maintain and manage existing configurations. The DSE centers around creating configurations. A configuration is easy to read script that describes an environment made up of computers, which is nodes, with specific characters, with specific character streets. These character streets can be as simple as ensuring a specific Windows feature is enabled or as complex as deploying SharePoint. Use desired state configuration when the CSE will not work for your application. In this example, we are installing IIS on the local host. The configuration will be saved as a .ps1 file. And notice that the DSE script consists of the configuration block, the node block, and one more resource block. Configuration block is the outermost script block. So you define it by using configuration keyword and providing a name. In this instance, IIS install. In the node block, this defines the node or computers or VMs that you are configuring. In this configuration, this is on the node. This is one node block that targets the computer that is called localhost. In the resource block, this is where the configuration sets the properties of the resources that it is configuring. In this case, there is one resource block that uses Windows feature. Windows feature indicates the name of the role or feature that you want to ensure is added or removed. Ensure indicates if the role or the feature is added and your choice are present and absent. Please note that Windows PowerShell DSC comes with a set of built-in configuration resources. For example, file resource, log resource, and user resource. So you have successfully completed module eight, and we learned everything we want to know for the AZ-104 exam in terms of Azure Virtual Machines. In the next video, we're gonna go through review questions on module eight. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.